What is going on everybody? Isaiah Dominguez here, as you may have expected. And today I wanted to sit down and make a different kind of video uh, than I have been lately. No cover song or fancy camera editing or transitions or anything like that. Just me and you talking one-on-one -on -one or I guess one on however many people end up watching this video. Uh, but I wanted to talk about a project that I had started earlier last year that I thought I had the energy and the time and the skill set to be able to create. And unfortunately, as time has gone on, it's proven to not be worth the amount of stress and anxiety that it's causing me at this point in time. Uh, and so unfortunately, I am going to have to call it quits and end it uh, now. Uh, unfortunately, that is my podcast cleverly titled Conversations. Um, some of you might know what that is, some of you might not. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's a podcast that I had created in order to talk to other creatives about their life, about their journey, about their lifestyle, because I think that there's a very narrow concept or idea of what being a creative is or entails or looks like. Uh, and so I wanted to talk to people who worked in creative fields or worked in non-traditionally creative fields uh, and share their stories uh, with you. For those of you who did listen to it, uh, thank you so much for the support. For those of you who I had reached out to uh, for conversations, I am genuinely sorry uh, that I was not able to follow through with that. It's not that I don't believe that your story is worth telling, it's just that I don't think that this is the correct medium for me to be able to tell it for you. Um, and possibly in the future, I hope that I'll be able to provide some platform for you to be able to tell that story. Um, but in, in this case, it just was not worth the time and effort for me. And so that got me thinking a lot about, well, why would I even share this with you, right? <laughs> What's the point behind all of this if it's a podcast that you know, didn't have a, a lot of traction, to be completely honest. Why would I uh, not just let it slip silently into the night? And why wouldn't, uh, why would I take the time to sit down and set up lights and microphones and a camera and talk to you about it? Well, I felt like going into 2021 with the whole concept of a fresh start from a year that was really f freaking bonkers. Um, I felt like it, it was important to talk about when to persevere and push through something that is hard and when to understand that you need to quit something. Because as a musician, I've been doing basically the same thing for 10 plus years and I'm no stranger to opportunities being missed, doors being closed, um, just not being the right fit for certain uh, situations. Um, so how, how do I know when to call it quits on a certain project, but not on another? Um, and the idea that I, or the concept that I came up with, which is my new mentality, moving forward with a lot of my creative endeavors, is to allocate my time into things that bring me genuine fulfillment without the data and analytics behind it. So what that means is I am willing to invest my time and my energy into music because it is personally fulfilling even if no one else listens to it. If it existed in a vacuum and no one else listened to my songs or no one else watched these covers or no one else wanted to be a part of this career, I would still listen and create music because it fulfills something in me. And unfortunately, the podcast was not giving me that in exchange for the amount of time and effort that I was putting into it. And so I felt like it was appropriate to be able to call it quits on a project that wasn't giving me those same feelings of fulfillment uh, that creating music does. And honestly, even if nobody listened to some of my uh, music in the past, I would still listen to it and enjoy it. And it would still trigger a lot of very um, visceral memories for myself and take me back to different points of time in my life uh, and trigger a lot of very real tangible emotions for me. And I think that that is a reward in and of itself. Anyways, 
Thank you so much for tuning into this YouTube channel. And if you listen to the music additionally, thank you very much for that, because that's kind of the whole reason this channel exists. Uh, I'm interested, what is your parameters that you set for yourself as far as perseverance versus quitting a project? What is the criteria that you set forward uh, that if it's not met, you know it's okay and healthy to leave that project behind? Curious? Leave your comments below about what those are, and I will catch you guys in the next video.